Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mad Lady Magazine. I'm Trish, your Mad Lady, and you might notice that my face is bare. Uh, normally I like to wear makeup when I'm on screen. Uh, we all have our insecurities. But today, I went naked in the face because we are going to be following a beauty how-to from Real Simple, February 2021. So, relatively new issue. Makeup that lasts beneath your mask. Three, two, one, zero, zero. This beauty how-to is something that actually is quite relevant to the times today. The tagline says, a pro offers the best tricks for making smudges and smears a thing of the past. I don't know about you, um, I have this problem all the time where you want to wear your lipstick, sometimes you want to look pretty. The way to make your life a little bit spicier, I'm for. Uh, I, I thought that this makeup tutorial was perfectly relevant for any day of the week. So the pro that they are touting is Jamie Greenberg, a celebrity makeup artist in Los Angeles. So I have to assume she's a celebrity makeup artist, she knows what she's talking about. Now here's the thing with this tutorial. They do give you recommended products, however, comma, um, they were really expensive. So, on the whole, I decided, you know what? I'm an everyday lady. A lot of people can't afford the high-end makeup that they are suggesting. So, I'm just gonna follow the rules. And they have given you quite a few. There's four main steps in this how-to, but within those steps, there are smaller steps um, to follow. So that is what we're going to do. We are going to follow the steps with products that I found at Walmart. <laughs> so, here we go. <clears throat> First thing I'm gonna do is put on my cute little headband. <laughs> Step one is prep smart. So after you wear a mask for a long time, you're going to get the dreaded mask line marks. The first thing they do to combat that is to make sure that you're extra thorough with your skincare routine. I'm reading this verbatim. So, cleanse, moisturize, SPF. Done and done. Did that off screen. The next step is to prep with a primer. The primer that they have suggested is called Shiseido Synchro Skin Softening Blurring Primer, which is $36, um, and Shiseido.com. It's water-based, it costs $36, but mine is this one, which costs this much. I got the Revlon Photo Ready Prime, Pla Prime. <clears throat> Prime Plus Mattifying Impure Reducing. Uh, it's a makeup and skincare primer, complex infused with artichoke extract, silic acid, and AHA. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> so first step is, is to apply your primer with a brush, not your fingers, on oil prone spots like T-Zone. This way you can be diligent about where you put it, she says. So I have two different kind of brushes. I don't. I, I've got a cream shadow brush and this little contouring brush. Uh, I'm really bad about putting stuff on my hands with my fingers. So I mean I'm prepared for this, so I just have to go with these two. So it is unsure if I put it on uh, the whole face or just the areas in which I'm applying spoiler alert for the next step, concealer. But since they don't have actual instructions for where to put it, I'm just going to put it all over. <clears throat> I 
we go. So I'm using my smaller brush to put it on like, like the smaller areas and I'll use the bigger one to go on like my cheeks and stuff. <laughs> so weird. It's weird putting stuff on my skin that uh, has no actual color or anything so I can't really tell if I'm doing it right or not. I'm going to assume that I'm done. <clears throat> Gonna be a big no-no here. In I mean, it feels nice, nice and soft. Step two, use a light touch. Uh, Jamie Greenberg states, the less makeup you wear under the skin, the better, under the mask. The less makeup you wear under the mask, the better. So instead of using heavy foundation all over, she advises spot treating with cream concealer. They like Unique Touch Skin Solution Concealer, which is $29. Found out uniqueproducts.com. They say dot it where you need it and then use a beauty blender like Beauty Blender Zodiac, which is $20 at beautyblender.com. She says that it gets the concealer right, just the right consistency. So you don't want it to be so thick that it collects fine lines, but you also don't want it to disappear. Uh, I forgot. So I've got a beauty blender that I already had. And then let's see here, I've got the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Blemish Concealer Micro Clear Technology. Do they do it like this? I don't know how these beauty people do it. Ta-da! <laughs> I think it costs this much. So since this, I figured, if you're applying it to zits or breakouts or whatever, why are you going to put on more concealer without treating it first. Uh, so I'm going to use this on the spots that I have, like I've got a pimple growing here in case you didn't notice, and I've got a couple of the little spots. I am however going to cheat a little bit and use my go-to everyday uh, concealer. I don't know how much it costs. Um, but I'm going to use this under my eyes because I have dark circles under my eyes and um, I don't want to put something that has like active ingredients for breakouts under my eyes. So this is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, just in case you want one. So I'm gonna go uh, dampen my beauty blender and then I'll be right back. worked really well. It looks nice. You can't really see much spots. Um, yeah. On to the next step. Which is color in your cheeks. I've got big cheeks. Uh, <laughs> so I don't like drawing attention to them too much. But if I don't, I just look like a chipmunk. So I like to apply color here. Uh, just on the apples of my cheekbones to add a little bit of woof. They suggest, which is interesting, um, doubling up with a cream blush and a similar powder color palette. Cream blush, similar shade in a powder, which I thought was very interesting. So, they suggested to use, oh, <laughs> so this um, Perot 
Jamie, she actually just came out with her a new makeup line called the Brightener at for $34 at jamiemakeup.com. Plug! I, I see where you're going real simple. Smart. So the one I got was the Maybelline Sheikers Heat. I actually use this um, uh, every day, but in this shade. Um, this shade is called Pink Scorch. And then I got the CoverGirl Cheekers in Pink Candy. This one costs this much. And this costs, yeah, much. So we'll go ahead and apply this first. Once again, using my fingers. Here we go. I like this because I like this blush because it just sort of seeps into your skin, leaving just a teeny tiny little color. And I feel like it doesn't like cake on. That's why I like to use these little cheek heats. That's step one and two done. Now we're on to the eyes. So step, ooh, step three, keep your eyes on the prize. So make mask on or mask off, your eyes will always be visible. Yeah. So Greenberg suggests pumping up your lashes. If you can splurge, she recommends Lashify Control Kit, which is $145. Oh, I think I will use my eyelash curler, <laughs> which was like five dollars. Good enough. So then, for a less fussy approach, <laughs> she likes a fiber-infused lengthening mascara, like Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, which is twenty-four dollars at ThriveCosmetics.com. Um, I got this All May Length and Lift Mascara. Uh, it costs this much. So, here's the thing. I normally wear this mascara, which is uh, L'Oreal. Which is from L'Oreal. Which is a Voluminous Superstar X Fiber. This one actually has like the fibers just like in this thing that they're suggesting. But I didn't think it was really fair to use too much of the stuff that I already had. So I went and bought something that's supposed to lift and uh, lengthen. So we're gonna go with this one. Not bad. All right. So this one was a weird step. The next thing she says is that to really complement your eyes, you want to look for a mask that's in the shade that complements your eyes. So normally for brown-eyed people, they suggest purple masks, blue eyes, orange masks. I have a hazelish bluish eyes, so like a green blue. Uh, they didn't suggest anything for that, and uh, I don't like orange, so I just went with the purple. And I still think it's pretty. Those are the rules. I broke them. Sue me. Next, we have step four. Give your lips service. These taglines are really cute. And I quote, we get it. You might feel naked without lip color. If a mask falls off in the woods and no one is there to see it, does it matter if you're wearing lipstick? Comment below. Are you a lipstick junkie? I was <laughs> before uh, the pandemic, so this step certainly appeals to me. So you could stick with a simple moisturizing balm, 
But if you really want color on your face <clears throat> and not the inside of your mask, she recommends using Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. So you know what? Reasonable demand. I got it at the Walmart for this much. It comes in a lot of different shades. And I have to tell you the truth, I already have several of these. Um, <laughs> I can attest that these suckers stay on your lips. The only problem with these is that although it touts 16 hours of long lasting stay, it dries your lips out and it does flake a bit if you are using your mouth a lot. <clears throat> So, uh, <laughs> um, that's just a couple things to be aware of with it. So I thought I would go outside my comfort zone. I normally go for sort of muted colors, um, nudes, sort of like, this one was a bold one that I got, but I like like the nude colors. Um, you can see my lipstick, I have a few here, very like pink such and such. So I thought, you know what? Let's spice it up a bit. I got the color 120 in Artist. As you can see, it's, I'll swatch it. This is my very first swatch. How do you do this? Nope, not like that. <laughs> How do I do, do this? This, this? See? So it's pretty bright. Um, now I have to make up all over me. No! <laughs> now I have makeup really all over me. <sighs> Go ahead and apply this very bold color. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> So, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, of course, before slipping on your mask, set the whole look. Brush on a light dusting of translucent powder, then add a few spritz of a setting spray moving in Z motions to get all of your features. They use CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mix. That was uh, $6. I looked all over for this, y'all. I couldn't find it. So I just went with Neutrogena Radiant Setting Spray for healthy skin, which cost this much. And then I went with a Ramel London Stay Matte Loose Powder, which was this much. So I wasn't clear whether I'm supposed to apply this to my lips as well. Uh, I didn't say not to. And I have heard that people uh, will apply it to their lips. So I'm gonna get this little fan brush and apply it to my lips. And then I'll take an another fluffy brush. Oh, oh no, it pooped. <laughs> For the serving spray, Z Motion will be this way. So. <laughs> okay. Mmm, refreshing. <laughs> All right, and I guess the last step <sighs> is to apply the mask. There it is! The finished look! Um, hmm. Let's get a close up here. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> this lipstick is really bright. Hmm. 
there you have it. A full face of, well, I'd say a partial face of makeup. Um, following this tutorial for how to apply your makeup for underneath your mask. Um, my thoughts on this is like, yeah, it's, it's minimal. Um, and I guess that's the point. But honestly, I feel a little bit naked without like eyeshadow on. Just because I have very deep set hooded eyes. I, I need a little bit of something to sort of draw my eyes out. Some people are oh so fortunate and can get away with just wearing mascara. I'm not one of them. So my face kind of feels a little bit flat with like the super bright lipstick and my very understated eyes. Um, comment below what you think of the look and suggestions on what you do to make your face stand out underneath a piece of cloth. Um, overall, it costs this much for all of these products. Um, let me know what kind of DIY or tutorial do you like me to follow next? There is a page for everything and I am just mad enough to do it. So I hope you have a good day and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next time. Bye! Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.